Chelsea had their little day. Just want to quickly get you guys' thoughts on that as well. What you guys saw, what you gleaned from that situation as well. Let's play a little clip and we'll have a little conversation. Beautiful. The only thing missing from blue artwork was me. I'm so jealous. Yours is 3D and I and just... It just came to me. I was like, wait a minute. It's... Yeah, so I was I was confused by first of all uh, by Marcia because I think the audience was trying to trying to trying to convince me that she ain't feeling him. That's why she has a shitty attitude. Excuse my French. Um, so they tried to convince me that the attitude was poor because she ain't feeling him. But she told us quite clearly there and then she be feeling a little blue. Okay, so uh, I want to get you guys thoughts um, on the the date. What you guys saw, you can talk about Jeffrey, you can talk about uh, Blue and Marcia, but let's let's focus on um, Blue and Marcia first, and your thoughts on that, and then we'll, we'll, we can branch off to Jeffrey and uh, uh, Blake's kind of beef in between that time. What were you guys' thoughts on Blue and Marcia? I want to get your thoughts on that. Okay. Blue and Marcia. Mm-hmm. Your hand, your mic's already open, so you can go first. Go for it. Uh, Blue and Marcia, sir. I'm going first. Yeah, you're going first. Yeah, your mic oh, was already open. So. I apologize. Sorry. That's all right. Don't you um, worry about it, sir. No. So, um, I think I think honestly, Blue so far is like one of my favorite gentlemen on the show. Uh, I haven't really like noticed anything like you know awkward about him. He's been very consistent with the lady that he's feeling. Um, and um, and basically at that date. I felt like uh, Marcia was still trying to be focused on the wrong thing, you know, trying to bring up like things about Blake and Jeffrey rather than like maybe focusing on creating a connection with with Blake and or like solidify, solidifying everything with Blue. She was kind of like very distracted on things and uh, kind of going back to the date that they also had last week where she was saying nope to everything. So I think that she kind of like blew it with Blue because He's, in my opinion, he was so far a good guy, but I could mi- be missing something. Appreciate you, Johan. Uh, Seaway, good to have you on board. I'll get you on here before you have to leave us again. But uh, what was your thoughts? We were talking about Blue and Marcy, their little connection, their little date. Um, how did you see things, babe? I had to walk away from a little loud over there. Um, okay. I don't even know why I joined because I don't even remember... <laughs> What? <laughs> I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Look, didn't he have a coloring book out, or is that the wrong scene? Was there a coloring? That book is the right scene. Let me play. Let me play a little video clip because of you. Because I know you need a little okay. video clip. I can open it and see more. <laughs> Impressed. So creative. I love it. When Blue made his painting, and I thought it was really cute. That's it. There you go, Seaway. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Oh my lord. I don't know what you might have to just hang up on me. You I don't know like what you, is... Ray. Was oh, you, thank you. Was you skiing today? You don't look like you skied. Nigo, you distracting her. Sorry. I was skiing earlier. This is not my skiing makeup though. My makeup, this is like my dinner makeup. I wasn't talking about the makeup, your hair, just the whole the whole look. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let me distract the Seaway. You're, you're on task. Okay, all I know is I was really, really confused. I didn't didn't blue didn't blue say that Mar that Marcia wasn't for him. Her, like Marcia, because Marcia didn't Kinda, want yeah. the kids, right? Kind of as well. So yeah. I, I think this is a story storyline issue. Too. Yeah, this is a storyline issue because last week Marcia and Blue like were like not connected at all because Marcia wanted doesn't want to deal with a guy with kids and in blue said that she doesn't you know she doesn't want to be outdoors she don't want to hike she don't want to do crap so i'm just trying to understand how we got here this week maybe i missed something because when he brought out that coloring book i mean they lost me i didn't didn't know what they were talking about why were they why they were there why we were there so i was a bit confused but maybe y'all can fill in fill in the blanks because i i'm not feeling their connection i really personally don't understand and we don't have a lot of character development with Blue still. I don't know what Blue really wants out of life. It's not very clear. So y'all can help me out. And it is nice to see. What's your name? Johan? 
Hello. It is it is nice to have have new men on the panel. <laughs> Me too. Get your ass off, Seaway. Get your ass off. <laughs> you are banned. Uh, thank you, Seaway. So it's a pleasure when I see you. Um, uh, Jr. Blue and Marcia, Marcy, what's your thoughts, real quick? What's your thoughts on these two, man? Um, I'm I'm definitely not buying this connection. I agree with Seaway. Like last week, they had an outdoors date. She said she's not outdoorsy. Then. Uh, well, they talked about um, the outdoors thing. He said he likes fishing. He gave her multiple options. What if we got a cabin and da da da? She shut it all down. She's not interested in none of that stuff, right? Then the kids, she said, you know, um, like she'd rather be having fun than to, to have kids and all of that. So for me, I mean, I can't recall anybody picking Marcia as a top connection and i don't recall her going on any other dates other than with blue um oh she went on one with Lyndon. remember i think he tried to kiss her right yeah so but so she's not feeling him that's that's completely gone so um yeah i think this connection may be just something to stay on the show i don't think there's anything genuine there um with that and even Blue, um, when they did the collage date, he seemed to vibe with Jeffrey for some reason. You know, he made that comment like, yeah, like he likes the way Jeffrey's energy is towards him. So I'm not sure how his connection with Marcia has grown like that, to be honest. I haven't seen it. Maybe they're talking off, off the show um, and or they're going on dates that haven't been shown. But. From what I saw last week, I don't see how this transformation in their connection has happened so suddenly. Um, because he's still the same outdoors guy. His collage was all about fishing and all types of seaside beach type things. And she was really cooing over it. She was like, oh, that's so cute. And But last week, you you didn't have no time for that. Maybe she was in a bad mood last week. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe something was up with her last week, but this time she's a bit more endearing to what he has to offer. But not sold at all on this one. Uh, I think Marcia looked nice in her, her workout attire. I can tell you that much. Sir, is that all you saw? Yeah, I feel like I feel like this season of uh, of Brady to Love, the, the second season, does have a pool of men that has the same similar like lifestyle of walk of life. I, I can see her really like connecting to Mike from the season before, as far as lifestyles go, because it sounds like she doesn't want to do anything that's like outdoorsy and the cabin and all this stuff she's just she's in miami like it's i i get the miami girl vibe from her and which essentially is like people that would connect with uh mike from the previous season and um so maybe if she's feeling like her her guy isn't really there or she's not connecting with those guys maybe that's why they're trying to force the storyline between her and blue because blue really hasn't really like said anything that's going to make everybody go like, why is he on this show? So that's why maybe he's not getting a lot of camera time. Like um, Anthony and Cynthia, for example. So, but I, I don't know. I'm not trying to get ahead of the show here. I know Kojo is probably taking us there already. What are you talking hand? about, Mike, that's with Brandy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you were single, like I'm just talking about like, <laughs> you know, in the scene. No, you don't see it, Sean. No? Okay, never mind. Because <laughs> because I, I don't see any guy on the season who's gonna like who, who who's like who's like going with what she she likes. <laughs> I don't see her like liking anybody. You know, you what need I mean? to do it like that though, bro. She's not problematic. She just hasn't found love. Why no, I'm not saying that she's problematic. Wait, Mike is is problematic. Did you watch the last season? You talking about Mike from Ready to Love Miami? 
Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is that I'm just talking about their lifestyle. What, <laughs> their adventure, like what they do, like how they care. I don't want to debate you because they'll take me out. So oh, I'm, just hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just respectfully oh. disagreeing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I, and I could be wrong because I just res respectfully disagree. But yeah, if you see it that way, sure. I I, I just I just don't like see her like connecting with anybody though. That's that's why I just thought about him because he's he was very different than uh, than the other guys on this, on the rest of the season too. Because he was like a Miami Miami dude, you know. He wasn't Haitian or anything like that. That's what I was referring to. Maybe if we're gonna go down the path of Mike, maybe Mike and Jonique. Yeah, that's another. There you go. That's another one right there. Yeah, maybe Mike and Joni. That's another one right there because she reminds me a lot of, of Brandy too in her personality and the way that she carries herself, you know. And background does a lot in connection because those dates you don't you don't necessarily have enough time to really be who you are. And when you find out that you have like similar background, like Cynthia and Anthony, it is easier to just like lean on that connection. And just say like, oh, we have a lot in common and we'll be great, essentially. <laughs> but sorry. Okay, I'm just choosing my words wisely. So uh, I, oh, come I, on, man. Can we it back to these two real <laughs> I lose the little followers I got. They'll be like, wait, oh, wait, what is controversial about what he's saying? What am I missing? It's nothing Ooh. controversial about it. I'm just it's saying. Not, it's just the audience are just hilarious. Man. The audience are just so, right now. That's what I'm are I, they even are they even listening to what he's saying? They're listening and no, they're not listening. <laughs> they're listening, but they're forgiving in the process of listening. Let me let me, let me, let me just rephrase this reading. before anybody rephrase it. Yes, you have because okay. they said. We need to do our version of Kendra. Kendra's, uh, look, what's your zodiac sign? What is your date of birth? Um, no, 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 no. See, wait, see, wait, no. Huh? Turn her mic off. No, Turn her mic off, please. On, see, wait. So, Sean, what, what I was saying is from, um, from their background, as mm. far as living in Miami and being African American living in Miami, in the way that she has been expressing herself on dates. I saw Mike connecting with ladies on his season mm -hmm. that were kind of vibing the same way. Now, I'm not saying Mike was the perfect guy for her. What I'm just saying is if he was on this season, they more than likely would have been hitting it off based on how they both carry themselves. I'm not trying to say nobody's bad, just saying from a background perspective. Now, who the man is, whatever, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to even want to go there. So See, that's that's what it was. advocating for the people. <laughs> See, way the advocate. Yes, I'm trying to help. She's she's being susu today. CC, oh, she's CC. <laughs> but I'm re I'm realizing I, I picked the, I picked the wrong example. So I think I think so, and that, and it's okay. I get what you're where you're coming from, but I think <clears throat> as we kind of dove into Mike last season he just was a little problematic you know so yeah. we're just not wishing him on marcy because i just feel like although her match is not here and i just don't think she's she deserves probably somebody a little nicer gentler you know he's a little rough around the edges so that's just my thoughts yeah yeah i, I yeah i agree i i was yeah Stand in your toxicity, King. Stand in your toxicity. Don't let them break you, okay? Don't let them break you, sir. <laughs> Told you, it's with not you. a debate. It's a can difference I, of opinion. I, you just want to clip this and just battle, man. before it's you just, know it. We gonna I just want to stand in the toxicity. I said it already. They're going to get him eventually. You can keep it up. But gonna, gonna, you're going to do it yourself, sir. They Don't hate on him. Let him get his day. moment. Let him have the halo effect, Kojo. Hey, no matter how true you are, they're going to get Kojo you, Kojo wants you to, the, the ladies to get pissed, and then that's what it's going to do. That's what that's why Kojo left. wants him to keep talking, because it's not working the way he wanted to work. It ain't working as fast. They still exactly. with him. They still ride with him. They just let him have a good... Let, you know. Everybody says track one. For, everybody says track one. So I said, you're going to join my team. 
You're going to join my team, but you don't care anymore. Okay? You're going to join that team, okay? Don't be, don't be oh, sugar coated night. You can't, be, you can't be petty like that. Okay, so I already no. got a strike one, so... Yeah. I want him I want him to come to the... I want him to come to the other side of the way. <laughs> <laughs> could, if you choose to fight with these girls, they're going to take you out, okay? <laughs> they're going to take you out. It's not, you need to just be strict down the line, you know what I mean? All right, cool. No, um, I'm, I'm playing with you. Um, But, okay, so who hasn't spoken? Sorry, I... I I haven't asked him. Who yeah. hasn't spoken yet? I just, Jake, go I just want to say real quick, just on these two, um, this is what happens when you kind of shoot yourself in the foot talking too much the first time, because this is Marcia from last week talking so much, saying that she don't want this, she don't want that, she's not going to do this, she's not going to do that. But this week, this man said on his little collage, oh, I like to take trips and go there. And it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, girl, you shouldn't have gave him all those do's, don'ts, and all that. You ain't going to do this list last week. And you might still be on his friends fly free list with him. But he already written you off. He just hasn't said it. And this is another case where sometimes we men and women have to tell that person, I have friends on you. Okay? Because now she's going to sit here and ride in this friend zone trying to get her way back in. And he off over here looking at Jeffrey as an option now. So... I really didn't understand this production produced date to the start just to have Jeffrey and Blake be in the same room together for whatever reason, because basically uh, Blue has written Marcy off, unfortunately for her. She just don't know it yet. She really just don't know it. And, you know, that I don't know how she didn't pick it up half the clues because he really wasn't really looking at her. Um, he, he was being polite, though. I did pay attention to the fact that even though Jeffrey was trying to show him her thing and and, and keep show, drawing her atten his attention, he was looking around and down and stuff, at least from what the camera has shown us. So he was not trying to be super rude, but he's off of Marcy already. So we have to just move on. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it. Who else hasn't spoken? So I lost account who hasn't spoken on this. Bree, I haven't heard you I've, on Blue and on blue and a masty connection oh yeah i i was going to say the same thing jay said um yeah when you talk too much in the beginning then you kind of find out there's more layers to someone and you find out oh okay there's some things i like about you okay you like doing that and so now it's kind of too late because it's kind of like well you don't like doing anything so you're just not my con top contender anymore so it's kind of sucks for her but he's just not feeling her um, so that's too bad. I think she does like has an interest. It like piqued her interest about his other things that he likes to do, but it's kind of like too late. As far as him and Jeffrey, um, I'm trying to remember. I mean, she did she give him a compliment like, oh, that's really cool. You like to with his little collage thing. And so maybe he feels like, oh, she may have an interest in me because I know he's attracted to her. So because I guess she gave him a compliment. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. Now he feels like he has an opening with her. Um, so I don't really have too much. I agree uh, with everything uh, what Jay said. And as far as Blake and Jeffrey, I just think production did that because they thought some drama was going to pop off. And it really didn't because Blake was not going to give her the time of day. So that backfired on production. Um, they wanted a moment and it didn't happen. So there's nothing too much there. But yeah, it's kind of like my thoughts on that. Thank you for that, Brie, as well. I appreciate it. So have you, have you spoken on Blue and Marcia? No, I haven't. Um, I think both Blue and Marcia have not found somebody on the show. So maybe this was a way for them to stay on, uh, especially for Marcia, because again, one minute she's liking this, the next minute she's not. Um, maybe Blue is a safe place to land and also will keep her on the show a little longer. Um, I feel the same way about Blue. I don't think he's found a genuine connection. He's looking. He might think that um, people are, you know, interesting and attractive and maybe might be leaning towards Jeffrey a little bit. But I don't think it's anything serious. I think it's just we're here. We might as well get the get the air time that we have and uh, keep it moving um, Blue did say that, and Marcia said Blue is a good vibe. That is one thing that she commented. 
And um, Jeffrey commented and said, um, Blue is open for possibilities because he had that door on his collage. I thought that was nice, actually. His collage was probably the best out of all of them. Um, but again, maybe it might be too late. Um, I don't think Blue or Mercy are, 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 have found someone. They might be sticking around just to kind of remain on the show. They might be pushed by production to stay. That's my opinion. Good points. <clears throat> Anyone else want to add on this part, Blue and Marcia? If not, I'll flip it to Blake and Jeffrey, part of it, uh, trying to... Um, <clears throat> trying to uh, prod him to uh, say something. Okay, we'll, sh we'll switch to her trying to prod him. Okay, her trying to uh, trigger, you know. Let's put this here. <laughs> See, wait, what? <laughs> you okay? You said, you said something to me? No, nah, it's the way you just, you just, you just, you just popped up on the screen like this. That's why, you know. I was you, trying you to come back on camera. I was telling the people I'm around. They have too much going on. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then they just said something back, and that made me laugh right when I came on camera. I'm sorry. That's what happened. I ain't even mad at it. <laughs> um, tomorrow, obviously, uh, Blake and Jeffrey, uh, her trying to, I guess, uh, 